So thank you everyone for joining me today. My name is Michael Smith. I'm the National Consumer Education Manager of Janome Canada. And then yes, we're back for another, ooh, Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. So what machine will we be talking about today? Oh, I feel like drum roll. <laughs> so Tanya, lights please. Yes, I alluded to a couple of weeks ago, this year for Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour, there's so many machines and we will continue with those. But, you know, Janome and your Janome dealer has a lot of fabulous partner products to help you get the most from that Janome Magical Machine. So in this case, ooh, today, I'll pivot out of the way, we're going to be talking about some fabulous... Ooh, did my plug come out? Oh gosh. <laughs> After that big reveal, again, technical difficulties happen to us all. There we go. Let there be light. And lighting is so important. So I've had Tanya turn off the lights here at the in my classroom at the Janome Sewing and Learning Center so we can focus on these gorgeous daylight lights that are again available from your Janome dealer. So important good lighting is again always important no matter what task you're doing certainly here for example at my little pressing station that oh if I'm gonna be pressing a particularly applique and I want to get really precise I love having this is the um, daylight slimline lamp that uh, attaches to the the shelf so then this way I can pivot the light however I need it. It's got a big gooseneck so I can uh, pivot it again exactly where I need it. And then even the light itself, I won't blind you with it, but even I can position the light bulb itself. So let's say, oh, if I want to focus on my beautiful Janome artwork here, I can have a lamp just for that. Or in this case, again, a lamp down on my applique on my pressing surface. So again, how cool is that? Mitzi Rev says she loves her daylight. Oh, yes. Oh, wonderful. Hello, Mitzi. It's great <laughs> to see you too. And yes, exactly. That there is a daylight lamp for every purpose, every buddy, every decor. Uh, this is the slimline floor lamp, for example. And again, it's so great because it's got two goosenecks. So it can really position exactly where you need it. Again, you can ooh pivot all that light. Look at that, it's beautiful. And yet I can touch it. It's not scalding hot. You know, it's warm to the touch, but it's not scalding hot. So, and exactly, I think, oh, we could have lightsaber battles with this. It looks like a lightsaber. So how cool is that? So there's different intensities. So a softer light or all the way off. So again, there's three different settings of intensity. So how cool is that? So again, a daylight lamp available for everything. So wouldn't this be great if you have a, oh, a long arm uh, quilting machine, a sit down like our a, uh, AQSD 16 sit down machine. This would be perfect to cantilever over your quilting. So uh, in fact, I had this uh, for when I demoed the Quiltmaker Pro 18 and Quiltmaker Pro 16 and the AQSD 16 on previous Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tours, I did have this light uh, out there in those presentations. So you can go back to Janome HQ uh, YouTube to review those presentations and see the versatility of these daylight lamps. Now, Tanya, if you want to spin around here, again, I've got, oh, my fabulous Continental M7. And yes, a lot of our Janome machines have a look at all this beautiful LED lighting here in the bed, you know, 13.5 inches, all washed down in light built into the machine. But let's say I want more light in and around my whole uh, area that I'm, I'm going to be, you know, pinning uh, some fabric into place. Or again, I've got some applique that I need to be really, uh, you know, careful as I'm stitching around. So by having a light, ooh, like this big luminous, I love this light. Again, I won't blind you all. But having a light like this that will clamp onto your sewing table this is again the luminous daylight lamp. So this as well, just by sliding my finger, there's not even a real button. I just slide my finger along and I can change the intensity of the light. So depending, maybe if I'm sewing late at night as I often do, I need more lighting, but I don't want 
intense, you know, bright daylight. So I can turn it down. I still have some illumination, but it's a little softer to the eyes. So it's not as glaring. So that's a great uh, feature. And then again, let's say, oh yes, I really need to wake up a little more. Great, I can full it on full on and super bright. And then again with this, ooh, telescoping. Uh, I absolutely love it. Like I can manipulate this light exactly as I need to. So again, this now the lighting of the machine, you know, is all washed around the bed of the machine. But now with the daylight lamp, it's over the, the whole sewing area. So you get more light with what you're doing. Uh, particularly, oh, late at night. Ask me how I know when you're ripping something out, you didn't sew quite right. Oh, isn't it nice to have a big light overhead as you're trying to rip out that seam? Or particularly, you're trying to match threads. So you've got your difference between your navy thread and your black thread. Oh, I've made that mistake a few times. So by having that extra light, now you can really see. So that's great. And again, there's a daylight for every purpose. Now I want to show this. This is one of our uh, halo uh, it's a magnifier. It's really cool. So any kind of craft, I automatically think of, you know, cross stitch, anything like that. This daylight lamp has got a built in magnifier. And in fact, there's even another little high intense uh, magnifier circle here. So again, you can really get up close. Uh, the blister packs, for example, of our uh, Janome presser feet, you know, some of that writing can be a little small. So if you put it under the magnifier, you can read all those instructions, or maybe, again, the instructions in your manual, you can put it under this magnifier, so it'll really help you out. Uh, but I wanted to point out, isn't this cool? Some of these daylight lamps, you know, plug into the wall, of course, but let's say, oh, if you don't have a spare electrical plug, under in and around your sewing area, this halo light has a USB port. So I can take it out of the block and plug it into the USB port included in a lot of Janome machines. So this light is being powered by my sewing machine. So again, how cool is that? I don't need to worry about, oh, I don't have a, a extra electrical outlet. I don't have to run an extension cord. I can just plug it into the USB port of the machine. So that's very cool. So again, lots of versatility. If you follow over this way, we have more, I feel like I'm in a beautiful lighting showroom, but again, your Janome dealer may not have all of these lamps in their stores, but again, they can all order uh, from you. Uh, here at Janome Canada, again, we are a distributor of daylight lamps. So again, your, your Janome dealer has information about all of these lamps. And again, a size and a, you know, lamp for every purpose. So in this one, isn't this cool? This is like the smart lamp and I can pivot it, you know, this way. I can pivot it up really high. I can maneuver it this way down really low. Like again, we can get it exactly where we need the extra light. And then there's differences again of the intensity of the light. If I want to go really, really bright, or if I want to go, you know, really dull, I can control that entirely. Or again, of course we can turn it off if need be. So really simple. So again, uh, a lighting for every purpose. Or back here, there's a different size. This is the same smart light, but it's just a, a little bit smaller. Or again, this is another one of the halo uh, magnifiers. So that's really cool. Or this guy, I thought he was so cute. The little smart clip on light. So this light I demonstrated in the, ooh, it was Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour, the Quiltmaker Pro 16, which is our uh, quilting, long arm quilting machine, a 16 inch throat on the five foot frame. And there is a USB port in the screen of that Quiltmaker Pro 16. So this daylight clip on lamp has a USB port on the other end of it. So I plugged it into the screen of my Quiltmaker Pro 16, clipped this to the handlebars, so then I could wash down a little bit of extra lighting just where I need it as I'm doing my micro stippling, for example, or again, I'm going to stitch around applique. And although the machine has beautiful lighting, sometimes you just need a little more 
or you know as I get a little older I appreciate oh my eyes just aren't as, as strong as they used to be so I love having that little bit of extra lighting again just when and where I need it. Now because this is a clip-on light I thought how cool this is my oh Continental M7 workbook for example so maybe I'm sitting reading in bed and I don't want to have the big light on you know disturbing my partner who's you know fast asleep so oh I could clip on this light and that it's like a perfect little night light so how cute is that and again it plugs in to the the USB port so like super simple so that's really cute or oh yes ooh, let's come down here these I absolutely fell in love with Tanya's fallen in love with these yes. everybody's fallen in love with these if you do again any kind of crafting or some of your quilt projects depending on what it is uh, then you want maybe a light box and in the past the light boxes were always so big and so heavy or how many of us have you know taped the piece of paper up against the window and you're trying to trace you know your image but then you know your your wrist is cramping yeah, and your your pen is you know the ink's not working on yeah. your pen because it's vertical so or we would try with the glass coffee table and we'd put the light yeah. under the glass coffee yeah. table yes Tanya's shaking her head going remember <laughs> that and those are all fine workarounds but oh isn't it just so much easier to have a dedicated piece of equipment that is going to do the job much quicker much easier much more ergonomically it's going to physically you're going to feel better so this is where ooh these beautiful daylight wafer light boxes come in there is a size for everyone there is a uh, the smaller guy here this is the medium size and then there's even ooh this big guy here look at all that so what I loved about these not only because they're way more portable than your traditional light box but even this they have again they think of everything daylight thinks of everything just like Janome another reason why I love them they have these little felty pads on the bottom of all the light boxes so it's not going to scratch up your table again it's um, very easy to use uh, they come with this protective plastic that you can peel off I generally like to leave mine on because I'm that kind of person <laughs> I don't want to you know potentially scratch it or spill anything on it or whatever so I leave the plastic on but you can peel that off so that's good so yes and you know I wanted to point out too your daylight uh, light boxes they all have the same port on the the end so any of the AC adapters that look like that that come with your light box each of them comes with this AC adapter but it's nice where the same AC adapter will work on all three light boxes so you don't have to worry about oh finding the right adapter for the right light box uh, any of them will work so I thought that was really cool but yes in this medium daylight light box I will jump back to the cool thing about this oh look it has a cutting mat so here I have down on my light box oh if I'm gonna trace out this uh, pattern for example it's a little stocking pattern I got from uh, Quilt in a Day my favorite website um, next to Janome of course uh, but yeah so I printed out this little pattern it could be whatever it is that if you're gonna trace it out for an applique or maybe you're gonna trace it out uh, with some stabilizer you know here's some of our fabulous uh, Madeira stabilizer so if I want to trace this out the stocking pattern then I can lay down my stabilizer my fabric you know whatever it is and then yes I can trace around very easily again typically this would be laying down <laughs> but I could trace this very easily or I can take my cutting mat here and these are available separately too so you can get your cutting mat and then I put my fabric over it my stabilizer whatever it is and with my rotary cutter you can use any size but I like using this little uh, small rotary cutter it's the 28 millimeter one especially around curves so I can take my rotary cutter and cut around I don't need to take the extra step and mark my fabric I can just use the rotary cutter to cut this out so again super fast super simple very accurate it's fabulous and this is an extra light source let's say even again you need more lighting with whatever task you're doing how about turning on your light box as I have here in this little 
sign holder, you know, recipe book uh, holder you could even set up. And now you've got that extra light when you're reading your sewing manual or again if you're going to be picking out some stitches, you know, something like that, you've got this extra light source from your light box. Or if you're doing an Instagram live, right? That's what I use mine for. Or, yes, that's an excellent thing. Yes, Tanya's been doing some fabulous uh, Instagram live Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern on Genomi HQ. Uh, we're calling this segment Sewing with Ginger Q. So that's Tanya. And uh, yes, Tanya had mentioned about, uh, you know, so many people are online now doing YouTubes and Instagrams and everything. So to get like the ring lights that are often recommended are uh, hard to come by. So this, if you're going to be doing some videos or, or photographs or whatever, and you need an extra light source and maybe you can't get, again, one of those dedicated, you know, ring lights and all of that, you could use your daylight lamp. I think that's a great idea. So, so much versatility, which is another reason why I love Daylight and another reason why I love Janome. Again, there's so much versatility and these are perfect uh, partner products to get, again, help you get the most out of your Janome machine and again, help you read all the, the smaller print of your manuals, let's say, for example. And again, particularly if you sew late at night like I do and you're a little bit tired and you know you should stop, but you want to keep going by having that little extra lighting gives you that little bit extra energy to keep going and make less mistakes, <laughs> which we're all about. So yes, today was a nice quick little uh, quick presentation and Lord knows I have lots to do. So I wanted to keep this uh, short and very simple and to say yes, for more information, of course, go check out your Janome dealer. Uh, again, here in Canada, Janome is a uh, distributor of daylight lamps. So you can check with your Janome dealer about all these fabulous options you have available for your fabulous Janome machine. Yeah, so then Tanya, if you want to spin around and just say goodbye. And then, the the, you know what? The light from the light box is, makes me look like the room's lit. Oh, even better. Yeah, oh, sure. perfect. Excellent. Sure. I'll have to do this when I start doing my online classes. Yeah. Again, you can check out our uh, Janome HQ Facebook page. There is the post there about all the online classes uh, is pinned to the top. Or again, yesterday I did a Janome Life blog. So follow the Janome Life blog and you can see all the information about the classes there. So when I do my online classes, oh, I should be having this for more. We all need more lighting, that's for sure. Sandra says, thank you, Michael. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. Again, a nice quick little one uh, for today. And I will see you all next week for another Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. And again, what machine will I be talking about? Oh, I don't know. It's a mystery. So I will see you all next Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Have a fabulous day. Bye.